industry and the European Union have inaugurated 224 on-farm social housing units for banana workers at Golden Exotic. The more than 5.9 million euro project is funded by the EU and expected to help reduce the company's cost of transportation, fuel and rent expenditure and increase productivity. The Deputy Minister for Trade and Industry, Nana Ama Dokuya CMAJ said such interventions by the EU will help Ghana increase her banana exports into the EU markets. In 2010, the European Union adopted the Banana Accompanying Measures, BAM, a support package for 10 banana exporting countries from African, Caribbean and Pacific countries. The Banana Accompanying Measures started in Ghana in 2010. The idea was to support and make the Ghanaian banana industry more competitive. Golden Exotic and Volta River Estate, both banana plantations already in operation, benefited from the BAM project. The EU allocated 7.2 million euros to the two companies 10 years ago to be more competitive. While the Volta River Estate invested its portion into production of high-quality certified organic compost for the plantation, Golden Exotic's portion was dedicated to construction of social housing units for the farmers. It focused on the construction of a 224 on-farm housing unit at Kasunye Suchari for workers and their families. The housing project is to alleviate the problem of transportation of the farm workers who had to commute long distances daily to work on the plantation. The first phase of 224 housing units worth more than 5.9 million euros are now ready. The housing units will benefit more than 900 workers and their families. The housing units have been leased to Golden Exotic and beneficiary workers will pay rent not exceeding government approved rent charges for public sector workers. The vice president of Golden Exotic, Mr. Olivier Chassang, believes the housing project is a major relief for Golden Exotic. Today, before opening this farm project, we are transporting every day roughly 3,500 to 4,000 people every day going and coming. So it's very important for us to change this, even if we have worked for these last 10 years, to make it more and more efficient so we are sure that people can come and work and go back to them. The EU ambassador to Ghana, Erchard Razali, said Ghana is the EU's key partner in meeting their demand for banana. The European Union is a major importer of Ghanaian bananas. We are more or less amounting or accounting for 60% of the total production of Ghana. And as you can imagine, we are big fans of your bananas. Nanama Dokuya Siyama Eji is the Deputy Minister for Trade and Industry and she is convinced this will have a huge impact on productivity. Looking at um, the figures from when we started exporting the regular uh, Ghanaian bananas and the number that we export now, we, be, we believe that there's more that we can do. And with this well-equipped houses with um, kitchenette and toilet and bathroom all inclusive, we believe that it will give the farm workers the support, it will give them the comfort, the convenience to be able to give their all and work hard for us to be able to produce more. In 2022, Ghana's banana production stood at 129,829 metric tons and the country exported more than 59,000 metric tons to the European Union market. Players believe such EU support to the sector will scale up production and more exports to the EU market. A science, technology.